fight, 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 fight. Oh no, I shouldn't put the chicken there because you know you can see his relative on the top of that table. Check it out, you can totally see through the whole thing like that. I'm going to eat all that food on the table. And drop test. Oh, only the lantern fell down. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Or in other words, you're probably going to get your sued. But lucky for these guys, I think they're in the clear, kind of, yeah. So welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and oh no, wait, before you say anything about this set, if you look at it from here, yeah, look familiar to you. This is also another Chinese New Year's Eve dinner. However, this one takes it to a whole nother level that I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. So this is Panlo's, well, I guess you can call it Chinese New Year's Eve dinner. 610001, 1,566 pieces. Now the only similarity that this set actually shares with the Lego version is the chair and the table. That's it. Everything else is completely different. So is that still considered a knockoff? Okay, so maybe the design of the manual, it actually says the Spring Festival, Chinese Festival Special Edition. The logo's almost the same where it says the Spring Festival but it's a different logo in the middle. This is what I call cutting it close, boys. It's kind of like the piggyback riding Lego, but the good thing is it's not a complete copy. I wanted to try it first and make sure if I felt right doing this review. I actually think it's totally okay because the figures are totally different. It's the theme. Everyone's trying to ride off the Chinese New Year theme. There are other brands doing knockoffs of Lego. We all know who they are. Because of you guys showing me all the pictures of this, it looks so outrageous. I had to get it. So let's just take a look at it. It is over the top. It is awesome. I actually really like this. Let's check it out from the outside. I work our way in as usual. Let me do a rotation for you guys. Yeah, look at that. Now from a distance, it actually doesn't even look like it's a Chinese New Year Eve dinner. And the funny thing is, it doesn't even look like a home. It's not a home. It's like a garden area. And it sits on a 32 by 32 base plate. You know, it's ready to just be picked up and put into your city anywhere. So along the front here, first thing that you probably see is this thing, this massive thing over here. That is a tree. But you know, you know how you blur your eyes and you go like that? You go. Yeah, if you blur your eyes and do that, it kind of looks like fireworks. I kind of wish it was actually. I wish they had like transparent bricks here or like stretch more of them out. It looks like fireworks going off. Going, yeah, Chinese New Year's, man. I do like that. I, I like how it kind of pops out. You can probably switch it up for more green colored trees. They're just trying to do this whole red, gold, or orangey, whatever, Chinese New Year color look. But that is cool how it protrudes and it goes out. And then along the front here, and by the way, this set uses all stickers. I'm just telling you right now, this is the sticker sheet, look at that. Big difference, so Legos is kind of like half printed and half stickers, these are all stickers. And I have a couple extra ones there that I didn't put on because I want to show you guys the difference. But anyway, let's move on. So here you have these two crazy looking lanterns, kind of over the top. They remind me of the Ninjago sets, like the pig that you build, the puffer fish. Come to think of it, I'm gonna show you something later, but this has a very Ninjago, very ninja theme like feel to it. This is an extra plate that you're seeing on the front that sticks out. This piece here is a little bit flimsy, so you do have to be careful for that. This was the last piece I put in. I kind of wish it was more held together, but they do have two doors in there. They open and close just fine. They're just on like single hinges. Stickers along the door and the lanterns and all the other small pieces stand for blessing. They put that on everything, man. During Chinese New Year's, you're gonna see that all over the place. I do like how there's a couple steps there and they have a little I'm assuming these are benches there. They put a couple of these rotation pieces on here that kind of actually naturally looks like a Chinese thing, like a decoration, yeah? And they use green. Thank you for not using gold. You don't have to use gold and red all the time. But the green actually looks pretty okay. Let's move it to this side. I'm gonna show you guys the side here. Oh no! More of these from the dragon. Cut off. I like the gray and the white and the black. The wall is really low. Could it have been higher? Maybe. But it's kind of nice to have four walls and still be able to reach in there really easily. And those are stickers there, by the way. Now, it's the same thing on the other side, and it's the same sticker, but I didn't put the other side on so I can show you guys what it looks like without the sticker, because maybe you don't want the sticker on there. That's what it looks like without the sticker, yeah? That and that. Come to the back here, and the back is actually a nice little surprise. I didn't know that until I built it. That is actually a small little room in there. And inside there, it is tiled, it's fully tiled. See, they've tiled it, even though it was so small. They have a little table there with a plant on it. And on the other side, it's kind of like a calligraphy or 
a painter's desk there. It's, a, it's definitely more secure here. Now it's funny because you build this in sections. So you build a wall and then you put the wall down. You build a wall on this side, then you put it down in the front and then you build this whole section, including the walls here, and you put it down. Kind of would have liked to have built it from the base plate itself. I don't know why they had to do it this way, but maybe because, because you had to flip it upside down and do the roofing. The roofing is all right. It is a little bit fragile. So the rooftop is by far the weakest thing about this set. You have to be really careful when you put it together, but if it stands still, and like I said, you can kind of adjust it here and there. Just be really careful because the pieces along here can pop out really easy. They're just individual pieces, but you can certainly still move it up and down and adjust things here and there. I like it. I think it's actually really cool, man. I like the black and the gold. It's tons of pieces though. This is gonna be like the other set, like Sing Bao, the, the Chinese sets that we've seen before. You're gonna be putting a lot of these together but so far it's holding it into place. The gold along the top, look at the gold there, that looks so cool. Pulling on these little gold pieces is a little bit tricky. You might have to like take pieces off and put it on. That's just the style, man. Look at that. Yeah. Despite it looking crazy and over the top, man, I actually really enjoyed doing the inside here. So first of all, it's actually half tiled inside. It looks really good like that. I'm so glad they actually did part of it like that. And then you have the sides here, which is like the grassy area on both sides, which makes me think, why do they have to have a dinner set here? So on the corner right here, you got some chickens. Yeah, that is kind of weird, but I was laughing putting that together. I thought that was actually pretty interesting. Before you actually put the tree on there, you have to put those two slopes. If I take this tree out, yeah, I thought those were chicken poop in the corner. I'm like, they really put poop in there? That is so good. That is so much attention to detail. And then I had to put the tree in there and I'm like, oh, Okay, that's actually part of the tree then. Now, right next to the chicken is this rock formation thing. Okay, so I actually really like it. I kind of wish there was a little bit more to it or maybe it, like a waterfall going down it. I'm not quite sure what these plant thingies are that are on there. You can use your imagination, but I like it. I like those little pieces. I haven't seen those before. That's probably new to me, but some of you might know what those pieces are. The one that looks like sh it's shaped in there. That's actually pretty cool. You got flowers scattered all through here. You can put even more flowers on the other side if you want to. And speaking of the other side, and there's the pond. It's minimal. Kind of would have been cool to be more like a water fountain, maybe a structure that grows against the wall and have water pouring in. But that's still really nice that they put something there with the see-through tiles. You know, I love see-through tiles. And you see this plant back here? Yeah, I broke the plant. Man, I hate those leaves. These things, they're so fragile. And they have to like peel them off or pry them off. Told myself, don't break it and it breaks. But the other one, I'm like, whatever. And it comes off just fine. So be careful if you do get this. And you know, lucky I have a couple more. Might not be in that dark green, but you know, I can live with that. And we come to the back wall, the decoration. The doors do open and close. They open this way, yeah? Yeah. You can open and close them from there. Just fine. They're on single hinges, so they can come off. But you know, it's nice they included it. Those are all stickers there. They have a sign on the top and on the side. The top one says, wish comes true. The left one says, living in a house located in a nice place that brings wealth, you know, or leads into the other set. On the right side, it says, the house is full of blessing. And then along there, you got some flower pots, I guess. I'm not quite sure why they're designed like that. And you have the two windows there that open up just fine. Yeah, and the lanterns there hanging down. It's a nice little touch. I like that. And in the back corner is another tree. Yes, another tree that can protrude and you can adjust it yourself if you want it to go over more or if you want to stay up or you want to just take it off like that. You know, that is entirely up to you. I, like I said, I really like how they come out. That is actually really cool. So now that we got that all out of the way, it's time to look at the very centerpiece. The theme of this whole thing, Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, yeah? Okay, like I said, the only thing that's the same as the other set are the chairs and the red part of the table. Everything else is totally different. The stickers are completely different. The spoons and the chopsticks. I can't even recognize what some of these stickers are, like what food they're supposed to be. This looks like bacon. This looks like tofu. That looks like squid. I have no idea what they, it just, it looks like someone actually drew, sketched something out and they just printed it. Those have to be the red bean buns. At least those are red bean. I'm gonna imagine those are red bean because they don't show it cut open. The other side, that looks like a poon choy. I mentioned that in the last video. Poon choy is something that's like a big pot of seafood and meat and just everything thrown into one pot and everyone shares it. That looks more like it to me. I have no idea what the foods are on the inside. They look like pizzas and salads and seafood soup and those look like sauces and more soups there. You guys can let me know in the comment what you think those are. I don't have a clue, man. But look, this is the funniest thing. They put like a turkey on the top. Who the heck has turkey on Chinese New Year's Eve? This is a Thanksgiving dinner or what? That rotates pretty fast. 
and the orange table in the middle. Even though this part spins, it's funny enough that the table underneath isn't really securely in. You could technically rotate the whole thing. Look at that. Rotate the whole thing because it's just sitting on one single stud. Yeah. Take that. Other set. They have their own glasses there. No bowls of rice. I'm not really a fan of the stickers. I think it's a little bit too colorful, but I love this outside part. Surprisingly, I'm a huge fan of how they did this. It is original. I haven't seen this before. I think it's a cool concept. What I was trying to say earlier is this is actually really cool, right? If you take this off, put it here, take out all the chairs, and I show it to you I like that. Yeah. This looks like, like a training ground. This actually looks more like a Street Fighter stage. You can put like your minifigures. We'll pull the minifigures from this set. And you can like set up your own fighting dojo thing here. Round one fight. This is actually really cool. I actually think that's kind of sweet, man, without the table in there. And of course, like I showed you, it does come with some minifigures. Minifigure time! It's another family. Let's look at this family. And they are not the same at all as the other set. These are totally different looking. So let's look at them right now. This time we're gonna work our way from the kids to the adults. The boy is holding this lipstick thing. I don't know why. And he's wearing like the burglar's hat that you see in other sets. But you know, the detail on the printing is actually pretty okay. Yeah, look at the detail. It's all nice and it's got patterns within patterns. That's actually pretty cool. All right, then you got this little girl and she's got a totally different design too. She's much thicker, the jacket. You can see like the fur or whatever that is going around her neck, both sides. The parents look like, yeah, I'm not a fan of the dad. I mean, the color looks kind of weird. I, it just doesn't look like it belongs to the set, man. But you know, at least it has a pattern and printing on there. Sorry, daddy. You look kind of weird. You don't look like you belong on the set. Mama looks different here. Mama looks very standout-ish with her blonde hair and her outfit, you know, the printing on these are actually pretty okay, but there she is. She got the grandpa here, doesn't look so happy. Maybe he's just tired and busy. The lines on his face look different. I don't know why they put an orange line there, but okay. Printing looks fine. Like I said, printing on all these look pretty okay. Then you got the grandmother who looks like Legolas from Lord of the Rings, the hairstyle. Looks like she's ready to go kick some butt. Glasses design is kind of different, but you know, panels don't make the best looking figures, or maybe it's just the color thing. I don't know, it's just, maybe it's just the color thing, man. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these bottles and the cones. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe they're drinks or, you know, you guys can let me know what you think they are. And you have red pockets here. Now I put the sticker on one. I didn't put it on the other one. So you guys can see what it looks like on the sticker sheet up close because you can't really see it once it gets put on this red. But anyway, there you go. All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times, but as you know, it sits on a 32 by 32 base plate, except for this one here in the front, which is four by width, so it comes out to 36 studs and goes by 20 studs in length for that little piece right here. So just so you know, it adds onto the base plate, and yeah, so you can easily connect this to any other part of your city if you dare to. Let's check the height. So for the height, use your one by four brick. For the top here of the temple itself, or the rooftop, it's just around 15 bricks. Look at that. Oh, it's just touching there. Now, if you wanted to get the lower walls, I can just show you that real fast. The lower wall is around five bricks in height, just like over it, but you get the idea. So for the front here, if I put the gold stud there in an angle and put this here, it's around 10 bricks in height. And by the way, I really like this piece. It's like a little pulley put there. So there you go, useless dimensions for you guys. Doing a little rotation here with the minifigures, as you can see, that's what they look like in the set. Yeah, They're all just kind of hanging out and chilling, getting ready for dinner. Is this set too colorful and too much? Yeah, maybe. I'm a colorful guy. I kind of like it. So there you guys go. This is Panos' take on the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner. Yay or nay, or is this too insulting? You know, I'll leave that up to you guys, man. Until next time, you guys, pick me up. Maybe you can, oh, oh no, man. You go like that, right? Hoo-wee. You go from the outside, work your way in, and you go inside here. Two dinners going on at the same time. Oh, I'm gonna be in deep for this. See, I told you guys, totally different. Even the color tone is like really different. Not the same. There's nothing to feel guilty about, except for maybe the chairs. Is this too insulting for some of you? Look at that. Yeah. Now, just to be brutally, 
brutally honest, I feel like they're enough to be different from each other. I like them both. I love this one to be a homely style. And I actually like the exterior of this one. Please don't eat me! Please, I beg you! Why, I'm gonna cut you open with this thing that I have in my hand. Son, make sure you cut them up good. We need more food here on the table. Hang on tight, I see them. We're gonna charge right up in there and get deer. Mm, you guys hear that? I hear something. Yeehaw! Coming in, suckers! Lay off deer! Yeah, deer, here we come! Got it! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we took half of you guys out. It's time to fight the other half. Come on, monster truck driver. Let's do this. Check this out. I'm going to spin out on this table. Deer, you all right? Scotty, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for saving me. Deer, it's not over yet. We're going to take the rest of these guys down right now. You hurt my family. Now you have to fight to get your deer back. What the heck is that? This is no ordinary flower. This is a spiky flower. It's got a lot of power. Check this out. Scotty, no! Scotty, are you hurt? You gotta get up! Don't give up! Oh, deer's right. Uh, the sword's gotta do something special. I gotta try and grab it. And now it's your turn, deer. You're gonna be roast. Get him, daddy! Get him! Get him, daddy! Oh, hell no! Hiya! Yeah, he's got it in there! We got one more little boy, we gotta get up there! Your daddy can't save you now, little boy. No! Deer, get him. Deer, what are you licking him for? There's no need to be angry. He just thought I was food. Right, boy? Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to. You're staying here. If you even move one bit, I will come back and bite you in the ass. Good job, dear. I think it's time to get out of here. We're in the clear. Yeah, I like the ride. Scotty, I'm done with this. Let's go. All right, boys. Doors open. Let's go. Right on, dear. I think we're ready to take on the world. Thank you for saving me. And please don't hook me onto that truck. Dang it. All right, dear. I'll hang onto the hook this time. You just ride in the back. Let's get out of here. I think we're ready for our next big adventure. Let's go find those campers we were supposed to look for for many, many months. Sounds good to me. I'm glad you guys are all okay. But it's time to write your other families to go after them. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll eat that deer. I promise you. I will cook that deer until it's fully burnt. 